Okay, so I have this uh, new RCAF tunic. It's from World War II, or at least that era before uh, Her Majesty the Queen was, well, the Queen. Anyways, just finished working on it, uh, you know, as anything that is, you know, 80 years old. Kind of looks a bit bad on the inside, and sometimes the out. Fortunately, this one fits almost perfectly. Uh, just around the waist needs needed to, probably might need to be taken in a little bit. I might do that at some point. But the most pressing matter was the liner on the uh, sleeves, both of them. Uh, as you can probably tell here, this doesn't look as you know white as say this. This was the old liner, or just a piece of it. Um, this is the new liner I had to put in because the old one was pretty torn. It uh, yeah, had a few spots and someone had uh, sewn it a little bit closer out here, making it uh, a lot tighter on the sh on the armpits, which wasn't too nice when putting it on. Anyways, new liners, simply cotton, made out of an old pillowcase. Uh, measurements are a bit off, so I used some of the old liner to fix that little patch. Anyways, um, so that's a lot mostly done. There was a few other spots, like down in here, this part of the denim lining was coming up. There's a few spots over here where this was starting to peel up. The pocket down here was starting to tear, so I had to put a seam along there, and I put a new tag on because the old one came off, and so I don't know the date when this one was made, so I just put on a new tag, 1942, because why not, uh, RCF Airmen, so it's not an officer's tunic, there is a difference, and I just slapped my name on there. I checked up the sizes, because I measured it and all that, and checked the sizes on Wikipedia, because surprisingly I have them, it's a size 5 tunic, and it has that little arrow there indicating uh, British uh, Empire property with the C for Canadian. Anyways, those are the only real markings on it. Uh, I did a lot of some work last night on it as well, dealing with a few other issues. The pocket, the box pleats were coming undone at the top here. I had to replace some of the buttons. Uh, they had uh, Queen's Crown ones, so someone might have replaced them and took them off. So I put some new buttons on. Uh, I don't have a use for those. Anyways, uh, that was a two-day effort. My hands hurt from hand sewing. Uh, the only actual machine sewing I did was on the inside sleeve here. Let's see if I can get it open. Uh, hmm, it's a bit difficult. Not sure if you can see right where that red mark is. There's about there's a seam going all the way up to the armpit there, basically closing off the lining. Uh, that's the only machine stitch along with uh, around both cuffs down here. Those are the only two machine stitch. Everything else, hold, everything holding the lining on, everything else I did, all by hand. Which, <laughs> if I may say, really makes you appreciate having a, uh, a sewing machine. And my dad and I were talking about this just earlier today. Um, the <laughs> the advance in technology and how prized the skill of tailoring was back in, say, not even 30, 40 years ago, is that the first sewing machine apparently was invented in around 1790, and that wasn't really a good one, and it wasn't until, like, you know, the late 1800s, early 1900s did decent sewing machines coming out, started coming out, and a my dad also it was telling me it wasn't until around he around the time when he was a kid did uh, you know electric sewing machines start to become somewhat affordable and they didn't even look anything like what we have today. They're more they were just the, the mechanical ones that just had an electric motor put onto it. <laughs> Anyways, the amount of the amount of sewing that I had to do for this just really puts into really puts into your head. Uh, the amount of effort that goes into making something like this and to think thousands and millions of these things are made well, probably not a million but getting close to anyways yeah so a few tips for some people like if you 
for sewing, it's it's a very valuable skill, and I, I would highly advise to anyone to learn it if they can. Uh, it really does save you a lot of money in terms of repairs or, or getting new garments. Uh, it's a very simple skill to learn, too. It just takes a lot of experience and practice to get getting used to using a needle. So yeah, there's my little rant for the day. My tunic belt. Put that on later. Yeah, so that's what I did all weekend. <laughs>